So this is all about making the jump from the sax monica up to the saxophone. Um, I put down some tracks and I know it works with both instruments. Same line of music and if you watch what I do on this and it should transfer straight through to this. So I'll play a bit and then I'll leave these up so you guys can have a play with them because I know they work and they're great songs.
on top of the baseline. So if it was a picture, the baseline is a sketch, and then we're colouring it in.
these songs. And then when you want to go to the high octave, you press the button on the back. And the real tricky bit with a saxophone is to get that smooth transition from low to high. And I think that's pretty much what, that's why we practice. <laughs>
You just make them up in your head and try to remember them. I'm not very good at it. So, but this is all about breathing. To hold the notes, and once you can make that tone, then you can play with the tone. And the backing track is, that's just what we're following. That's the wave, that's, and we're just going on this wave. And you know that music goes up and down, and it's just got lots of little, little bits and pieces in it, so just blow and move your fingers. Right, should work on some blues. Now this is a guy, Quist, Quistorama. He smashes out the best backing tracks, without a doubt. Well, my thoughts. But this is a blues backing track that, once again, you should lock in. Blues is such a feeling, you just, just make it up, man. Surprise them. 
And so you, you, you basically surprise the crowd and then, uh, then they warm to you. If you walk in with a saxophone and stand in front of a hundred people, they expect good things, man. <laughs> and, which means you've got to deliver. So to build your confidence up, to maybe do an open night mic, um, this is just beautiful. Get, because if you do walk up on stage with a sax moniker, people naturally feel sorry for you. You can't afford a saxophone. <laughs> Uh, and so you can always surprise the crowd, and I've done it numerous times. But what that does is it actually gives you the confidence to then step up on stage with something like this. And um, I'm going to tell you now, there's not much better than ripping a f <laughs> there's not much better than ripping a sax solo and pulling it off in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> that sounds a bit immodest, but um, it's pretty cool, man. It's like catching the ultimate wave and shredding and knowing there's a whole bunch of people watching you <laughs> which doesn't happen that often but when it happens it's pretty cool um, so yeah the sax moniker has a lot of um, once again it's got a lot, a lot of advantages you can take it anywhere you can play it anywhere um, some dude with a cahoon you just stand there and jam with them it works every time as long as you can make that sound that's all we're doing and then we just follow that beat and you know you work music out in this completely different sort of I don't know concept because music's just about blending sound and I've just given you a sound so you have to just blend it with the other people um, and that's it you don't need to play too much you can play little bits you can play a lot um, but it also gives you the a good concept into music because we really are just surfing a bass line. This modern day music we're making and playing, um, the stuff 400 years ago was a little bit more intense, uh, but nowadays you've got Bluetooth speakers, you've got backing tracks, you've got the whole shooting match. And um, that's, as I've said a few times now, music is so international, it brings you into a different conversation when you meet people. We've noticed that dramatically in my travels is um, the minute you start playing music with someone, you're actually creating something that wasn't there before. And that's an amazing feeling. Um, sure, it disappears, <laughs> unless you record it. But it's just an amazing feeling. And um, you do form a slightly different bond with people when it's through music. It's a bit like a language. Um, if you speak that language, you've just got more options. So music is a language, we've got a bass line, we've got a surfboard and our fingers are the feet and once we've learned how to paddle into that wave and we can catch that bass line or catch the wave you have it with you for, <coughs> for life um, and it really is one of the coolest coolest feeling. So your lifetime of cool starts here. Sax Monica, make the jump and just keep this in your bag of tricks for those open night mics that are a lot of fun to do. Mm -hmm.